My bad. Oh, you can kind of. This is a very therapeutic center for myself and Dan. Um, we come here to recollect our thoughts. Yo, okay, so look, this is the criticism with Andrew Yang, which is legit. It's legit, yeah. I've been looking into like reasons why people wouldn't be down for him. Because look, UBI is proven to not in, uh, improve employment rates. It's only really a function of improving the like financial relief or like mental relief. Being able to address certain things that people would have to skip out on if they didn't make enough. Like maybe you don't go a week, you go a week without deodorant because exactly. you had to get food or something like exactly, that. Exactly, exactly, it's a relief. I read somewhere that um, UBI, Universal Basic Income, it, it's a negative uh, feature to have because of the weakness it adds to unions. Like, exactly. like you said, yeah, like, like you said, the employment rates don't really go up because of it. It doesn't fix income inequality at all. It's not a function of, of like, closing the gap, which is, which is why Andrew Yang is just whack because he's, he's saying that it, it helps uh, uh, spur economic growth and put, and, and put people to work, but it doesn't. So he's literally lying. Yeah, he's selling people something he's just that selling they want to hear. They're telling the people things they want to hear, and that's yeah. classical politician. Yeah, he's a venture capitalist. You know, he's he, he thinks there's a lot of money in tech. A lot of people are saying that it'll drive tech companies out of America. Oh, really? If he like, you know, in, implements some kind of taxing that is that they find not advantageous. I don't know because they there will could be just benefits. They outsource their work. Well, the country will have more benefits with Medicare, like Medicare being covered by jobs and stuff. So it's like say that. can bring jobs here as long as you know, 15 minimum wage keeps going up, having all these like rights and access to like healthcare and even school and housing, it will probably bring jobs. He's getting a lot of Trump voters to convert to the Democratic side. Which I is believe. interesting because he he's repping for Medicare for all and uh, banning private prisons. If you take care of your country, you make your country happy, it'll be more productive. I just think that his awareness I have to him claiming the mantle of from, you know, entrepreneur to, to politician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, people with money, they see the world in a different way. And yeah, exactly. It allows other people to approach them like, oh, you're the guy with the solution because you made your economic model, your personal e economic model work for yourself. And exactly, it, exactly. It's, it's like, who's hearing, who is, who is really hearing the poor? Who's gonna represent? Yeah, people who are working class and poor. That's why, People who are normal people, regular people, us, you, them, like people that we know on a daily basis, they sh like they should be running the country.